The auto industry is in the midst of a land rush it hasn't seen since the dawn of the automobile as manufacturers finally embrace electrification. And as new niches are being filled every single day, we're left wondering what comes next. And that's where this comes in. This is the Mercedes Maybach EQS 680. And it is the first ever zero emissions, all electric, ultra luxury SUV. Before we dig into the latest Maybach, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to the InsideEVs.com YouTube channel for much more content like this. As with every Maybach, things start at the front where you have this gorgeous waterfall grille and a mounted three-pointed star along with this Maybach word mark. Now, this grille might not look like much, but it actually hides all of the radar sensors inside of it. And you can't see them. It's not like other older products. This is very, very clean and very, very nice. And I love the chrome waterfall effect. You also get smaller details. This vehicle is all about the details. You get these little Maybach logos hidden down here in the fascia. The hood is slightly higher to present a cleaner face and hide the windshield wipers. And around the sides, you have this hand applied pinstriping and a fixed running board. Now there is a slight hit to aerodynamic efficiency, but you know what, you're buying a Maybach. You can afford to recharge a little bit more often. Around back, we have this special spoiler that is just for the Maybach. And I love this little chrome strip here and here and along the sides. I'm not a big fan of chrome usually, but it all works out on this. And finally, there's an exclusive design for the taillights. These are gorgeous and the animation effects are really, really, really neat. And of course, it would not be a Maybach without a gorgeous set of wheels. And I love these standard 21s. There will be optional 22s coming later on. But honestly, if you don't want these modern style monoblocks, I don't really want to know you. No. Unlike the Maybach S-Class, Mercedes did not expand the wheelbase of the EQS. And really, it didn't need it ripped out the third row of seats and squashed these exclusive captain's chairs way back. There's a fixed center console. It is extremely plush back here. I have a calf massager. I have shoulder and neck heating. I have everything I could possibly need except for a bottle of bubbly because what else would I do with these lovely champagne flutes that make the best sound I have ever heard in a car? This is a great place to spend time. And honestly, I don't think I'm really gonna get out for a while. There's more to the Mercedes Maybach EQS than plush surroundings though. Engineers up the output of the twin electric motors to a combined 649 ponies and 700 pound feet of torque, which is enough to get to 60 in 4.1 seconds. That's hardly blistering in today's world, but performance that feels relaxed and confident seems to fit the Maybach EQS's mission a little better than a sub three second run to 60 would. Range sits at 372 miles WLTP, while the 200 kilowatt max DC charge rate is the same as the standard EQS SUV. Also joining the Maybach EQS is a dedicated Maybach driving mode, which adjusts the standard air suspension and adaptive dampers to maximize ride quality for second row passengers. That means limiting body movements, but also using an oscillation node under the seats to reduce the amplitude of any impacts. Mercedes-Benz has not specified US range or pricing for the EQS 680 just yet. And with an on-sale date of fall 2023, we're probably gonna be waiting a little while. But honestly, I think the wait is going to be worthwhile. The EQS Maybach elevates the interior concept to a degree that no EV has reached just yet. For much more on this, be sure to check out InsideEVs.com.